breaches impliedly of the code of political conduct. Five contractors were selected by the cabinet and the areas in which work should be done was also selected by the cabinet. There was one additional contractor named after the original five were selected and the work areas changed and that those instructions were transmitted by Minister Chang directly to the National Works Agency. Interestingly, all the contractors were road contractors, but contractors specifically qualified for sanitation and drainage clearing, which is what was involved here, were not included in the selection. The Contractor General's report further states that the work was substandard and not well done. He also points out, that is to say the Contractor General, that the usual payment procedures were not followed. Payment vouchers were not signed by the usual persons. Subcontractors were settled only by JLP, MPs, and cabinet members. And that, as I said, was outlined in the Contractor General's report. The whole thing was done in haste, 11 days between the draft cabinet submission and notification for contractors to proceed on November 18th. The question arises, what was the emergency? There was no sudden development or emergency that required this breach of the guidelines. In summary, <coughs> there is a scandalous and unfortunate pattern of behavior that is evident right across all areas of conduct of this JLP administration. What we see is their increasing use of public resources provided by the taxpayers of Jamaica for private purposes, either of the cabinet or and the JLP or of individuals making up the cabinet. This is evident in this $600 million debushing program. It is evident also in the recently revealed benefits secured by a senior cabinet minister under a program for dairy farmers that was administered by his own ministry. That's the Mombasa grass issue. We see it also in the recent phone bill scandal, which is currently being played out. And we see it also in the overruling of the NEPA recommendations regarding sand mining in Dunkards, where the applicant who appealed was a former JLP candidate. Especially in light of the scandalous conduct of the current JLP administration, we need to restore public confidence in the standards of governance in the country.